Hi, this is Patrick, and here I'm going to show you the different ways you can edit one of our reusable shapes. Hopefully you've all seen those, but reusable shapes are a symbol that you can drop on screen to indicate information at the highest level. What I'm going to do here is show you the ways that you can edit those, starting with the simple changes up to the more elaborate changes. You access your shapes through the icon on the toolbar that says Shapes. I'm going to go just to the basic grouping here. I'm going to grab one of these and, and, and show you. I'm going to pick this uh, refrigerator icon and drop it on the screen. And at the lowest level, just like other objects, I can resize this by grabbing a corner of it and dragging in or out. So I'm going to do that first, press down and drag. So what I've done is proportionally change the size of this. So both the length and the um, height are changed at the same time. I can also change it just on one of those axes. Let's say that I want the length to be two feet instead of 2.2. .2. So I'm gonna tap on that number and change that number here. What it does is it changes that horizontal, but it left the vertical alone. Additionally, I can make base display changes to it. In this case, if I look at it, it's all black. I can make it active, come down to the icon in the bottom right left corner, the colors and styles, and make some changes to, the, to affect the entire shape. In this case, I'm going to do, I'll make it red and I'll make it a little thicker lined. So now when I tap away, I can see that that's curved. I'll make the note here that the changes that I'm making to these shapes do not affect the shapes in the shape library. You are changing the one that's currently displayed on screen. If you want to save these changes to use again, you'll need to go ahead and save it as a different shape, which I will do in a little while. Uh, back to the shape. I now want to fill the background of this. Right now, the app knows this is a single object. So if I come to fill and I try to fill it, it's going to tell me, no, I can't do that. So visually, it looks like it should be able to, but and technically, you can't. So, But what you can do is break this shape apart, both to do that fill and some other sorts of more elaborate changes. So I'm going to select it again, make it active. And on the left, pick the topmost icon, More, and say Explode Shapes. So what that's done is turn it back into its individual pieces. So now if I come along, I can select just a single line. And to go back to that fill, I'm going to tap fill, tap in there, and sure enough, I can make that change. Additionally, I can also change individual lines here. In this case, I can drag that out and, and do whatever I want. So again, like I said with the previous one, I'm not changing the shape that's in the library. And if I want to save these changes, I need to go ahead and create a new shape. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to select it all, come to the left where it says, Create shape, and I can type in a new name and do anything else I want to do, and then click the Create button. And now if I go back into shapes, you can see I still have that black refrigerator icon. But if I go to the My Shape bucket, where any shapes that I create go, and search for new, there it is. And that's it for this tutorial.